it is time for geeks like us to review The Incredible Hulk. Yep. Starring Edward Norton, Liv Tyler, and... I don't know. Tony Stark's in it. <laughs> anyway, what did you guys think of the uh, Incredible Hulk movie? Go ahead. I thought it was great. Now, this being for somebody who, like the rest of the population, hated the 2003, and I can't stress enough that this is not a sequel. This is a restart. It has nothing to do with the original. Their Marvel was so aggravated with how that one was done and the mistakes that were made that they just said, you know what, that didn't happen. We're just going to pretend it didn't happen. This is a restart, the same as Batman Begins is, and I think they did an amazing job. I think the Hulk looked more realistic less bright neon green it just this was not the as you put it the mental picture that they tried to do with the first one this was a very hulk smash you know it mental it, picture there's less thought in this one i guess you say not that it's not well written <laughs> no it is, he's it right is well written much less uh, of a uh, psychological movie uh, and more of just a popcorn action flick I, I felt. And I think it was it was amazing. I think Hulk finally has a good Hulk movie. Now let's hear Nathan's opinion. No, I'll let Mike go first. Well, initially, you know, I, I am one of the few people that doesn't have too many problems with the 2003 Hulk movie. So I like that take. Uh, I like this take just as well. Um, in many ways, better. I, I didn't really... When they announced Edward Norton was going to be Bruce Banner, I'm thinking to myself, okay, I look at him, I don't see it. I mean, he's a little scrawny, he doesn't... I've never seen the guy in anything. Yes, I'm one of the few that have not seen Fight Club where he's supposedly amazing. So, for me, I didn't think he was going to have it. But then I, I'm watching the movie, and I'm like, oh yeah, this, this guy does pretty good. He has some acting chops. It's very much a throwback to the old TV show. Very much. It's It was... You didn't feel heavily influenced by the old. TV you didn't show. feel like you needed a whole lot of. I mean, most people who go to see the movie are already going to know the Hulk backstory, but it kind of felt like you could have picked up from the TV show and just mm -hmm. went from here. Yeah, well, if they hadn't killed him off in the TV show. Well, yeah, that too. But you get the point. Yes. Ignore that es that episode and go on. It just. So, Nate, your thoughts, opinions, okay, comments. First things first, the original Hulk movie that came out in 2003. I will say this, Ang Lee, you're a genius. I've seen many of your films, The Hulk was one of your best, I think you're awesome. I enjoyed the first Hulk movie in 2003, I thought it was very well written, I thought it was very well done. Now, comparing that to the second movie, was the second movie better? Not necessarily, it was very good. It was a very, very good movie, don't get me wrong. I still like the first one, the second one was pretty good. Um, my big problem with this one, the new one, is the Hulk actually does say Hulk Smash, and I thought that was lame. That's awesome! I thought I, it was lame. I loved it. They That's could have done it without it. Luke how Rick many no series? No, 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 it's great. No, I like how the many fact series that Luke of, did it. or different media since Hulk came out, and that you know, the old TV series, the first movie, and they they've never let him speak. It was so cool to see the class of things like one like the clap. Yeah, that was awesome. it's okay. It, and, and all that stuff Hulk was great. Hulk smash and Betty. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. All that stuff was great. Betty. But the first time he talked, I, 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 don't, I don't think I can quote exactly, but he said, stay back. Stay, he actually was thinking it through, thinking out a full sentence, stay back. Towards the end of the film, Hulk smash, I'm an idiot. No, he, he oh, never said more than two words in conjunction through the stay movie. Stay back. But no, 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 no. One syllable, no. simple but what words. I'm saying, But what I'm saying is, Hulk stay smash. back, he's showing thought, He's showing thinking. He's saying, okay, you need to stay back or you're going to get hurt. In this one, he's just like, Hulk smash. Well, how, how do you... you also look at the context of this. Stay back. He was trying to protect Betsy. He wasn't how do you actually at Magnum that Man moment. Say, stay back without saying stay back. How do you... Back. Look at it in context, though. The last fight where he says Hulk smash, she's, you know, it's not a, oh, stay back. I don't want you to get hurt. It's, she's about to be killed. No, I know, and I get that. It's just one of those things. Is seconds away from crushing the life out of her. I know, and you said that you liked the CG in this one. Um, I haven't watched the first one in a while, but from what I recall, and I'm not going to make my final judgment until I have both DVDs in my hand, watching them on two TVs and pausing and slowing, but I think the CG minus the coloring of the Hulk in the first one. 
was better CG overall than in this one. Now, I think you have to admit the acting in this movie was much better on all accounts. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll, I'll give you the acting better. Edward, was, Edward Norton is fantastic. This was definitely... The, Liv Tyler, yes. Edward Norton had much more chemistry. The, than yes, Jennifer they did. Connelly they had, they had and, very good chemistry. Yes. The first very time I ever saw Eric Bana was in the Hulk movie. That's the first thing I'd ever yes. seen him in. And I walked away from it. Oh my God, this is the worst actor in the world. This is horrible. And I dumped all of it on his shoulders. I've seen other things since. I'm like, okay, this is just the worst directing in the world. It's I hated the first <laughs> one. There was a couple little gems when the first one, when Hulk was doing what's supposed, what he's supposed to do, when Hulk was smashing. This movie, I think made up, and like you said, you're going to have to go back and watch the original. Yes. I'm telling you, I think upon a review, you're going to see that the CG from the original one looks very cartoonish and hokey compared to this one. Much more realistic. Much more Michael Turner Hulk-esque. Exactly. True. I don't know. I, I The acting in this one was very, very good. Now, Eric Bana is a great actor. I've seen him in a few things, and he's been good in everything he's done, in my opinion, with exception of Troy. Correction. Exception of Troy. Um... But the acting was better in this yeah, one. Yeah, the characters weren't as flat. Yes, they 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 seemed like in the first one, they seemed to want to go more into the story than focus on the acting, which was Everybody good. In the first I, one seemed like they were in a drug induced stupor. Well, I loved <laughs> the story of the first one, and honestly, them starting over and saying this is brand new, this had nothing to do with the first one. They could have easily tied it in with the first one, and honestly, I think if they did tie it in with the first one, it would have been a better movie. They they could have, and I can understand why they didn't for sales. Yeah, I, I, I get that, but, but I also you gotta like the first one to like the second. I, I also that. think that they they kept him similar enough. I mean, there's no we only if I remember right, there's only one real discrepancy that stopped them from connecting it. Correct. Well, there's a couple, but yeah, I mean, one huge one, one jumped huge one out. Yes. Yeah, but. I think they left it close enough because there's always the stupid people out there, and I'm not saying the people watching this are stupid, but you probably know a couple. <laughs> there's always the stupid people out there that aren't going to, no matter how many times you tell them this, no matter how many times it's put out there, they hear what one idiot on the news or on this show or something says, that this is a sequel. They don't get that it's a reboot. The people who don't get the Batman, the new Batman franchise, I still have people that go, I don't understand, how can he, it just doesn't make sense with the old movies. Michael Keaton did a great job of Batman, but that was the past. This is a reboot. Same thing with the Hulk. Get over it. Yeah. It's done. It's in, the past. And like I said, I'm not Fresh saying stuff. that this movie, this new movie's bad, so don't, you know, comment or whatever. You're an idiot if you don't think the new movie's awesome. It was a good movie. It was a very good movie, but I don't think that the first one was completely horrible. No, I and I still think the two should be tied together. I really think they could have done that, and I think that would have made the second movie better. Now, do I like the the second one better than the first one? Probably not. I think the first one overall is a better movie than this one. But then again, I don't think a movie should be all about. And this is the best example for the use of it: Hulk smash. This from the man who loved Rambo. That was necessary. <laughs> it, my one main complaint with this movie was that they decided to cut out the Captain America scene. Yeah, and save where it was for the that? DVD. Where? Okay, that's there. There uh, was <clears throat> yeah, there was a plethora of, of Captain America references, but they tons the of scene them. that was supposedly was rumored to be in there. Unless the references were it, we didn't see it in the movie. They did hype it up. No. The Tony Stark scene was there. No, yep. no the director said that they've taken it out yep. and it is only going to be on the DVD. Yep. So, but when this comes out on DVD, check out yep. Captain America. Now, I will say this. Matt there, Damon. There is, I mean, they're obviously Open. doing the part where they're going to you have Tony Stark come in and they're setting up the Avengers movie. If you don't know that by now, hey, they're setting up movies to make an Avengers yeah, movie. Yeah, come out of your cave. Uh, anyway, um, the other thing they might have possibly set up, we don't know, we've talked about this once already, they possibly set up another sequel, and this would be an official sequel to this movie, where it looks like the bad guy could be the leader. Now, if you read the comics, you know who the leader is, you know how awesome a villain he is. I'm hoping that's what this was set up for. I'm not going to tell you what happens, but you'll know when it happens. Yeah, um, maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Yeah, if you think they did, or you didn't, or they didn't, leave us your comments yes. down below us. We've got to wrap it up, so we're running yep. out of time. Visit us go on see the movie, it's very good. YouTube, MySpace, ParadiseIdies.com. Leave your comments, questions, anything mm -hmm. you want to talk to us about, leave them down below. I especially want to hear comments about your the first movie. We're, uh, the first movie. we're out for this week. Mm -hmm. We'll be back next week. Next week. With a whole bunch more reviews. We'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>